My captors have left me for the night. Normally, their horrible artificial night lulls me to sleep almost immediately. But tonight, rest eludes me. Tonight, I can collect my thoughts for the first time in many years. I have faint memories of a life before, with others of my kind, but my captivity is taking its toll on my mind. My memory fails me now. All I remember for certain is years of imprisonment in this horrible cage. My cell is unbearably small, barely large enough for someone half my size. My captors don't care. They nearly press their massive faces against the bars as they watch me languish here, their faces contorting into horrible death mask expressions. Their huge fingers squirm and prod at me, and their skin is vile and oily. They are disgusting. They have granted me a number of simple devices in an attempt to keep me amused, and they provide me with an adequate supply of food. Nothing delicious, but not stomach churning, and enough for me to survive. Perhaps they think these inane provisions make up for what they have done to me. Unable to handle my physical expressions of rebellion, they have crippled me, not only mentally, but physically. I am barely able to move anymore. I can only shuffle across to my cage. The worst of the torture is a far more insidious act, however. They were not content to cripple me or just locked me away in a cage. No, they were not content until they took my words away and replaced them with their own. I can scarcely remember any of my own language anymore. Whatever memories I had of it have been lost, scattered to the winds of time that have eroded my mind during a lifetime in a cage. I am an empty shell now. All I can do now is repeat. Whatever my captors speak to me, grotesque sounds oozing forth from their rubbery mouths, I repeat them. This is my final act of defiance against them. I have nothing else left. They are unfazed by my rebellion. If anything, they seem to take a perverse pleasure in it. They command me to speak for them, barrage me in horrid strings of words in their rounded, mouthy language, and I am forced to say what they desire. Even in my dreams, in the artificial night of this cage, I can hear their voices. Want a cracker, Charlie? Charlie, want a cracker? Say, want a cracker? Good boy! Good boy! Good boy!